Hi there, how's it going? I'm Sophia, a management student from University of Singapore Bangsa Karawang, and I also one of Isma Ordi. I am currently studying in Middle East Technical University with business administration major. And here I would like to share with you my Isma journey. So if you're curious, just keep on watching. All right, so the first time I knew Isma, it was from my ICO Instagram account, and I saw that Isma is such a very promising program that will give me a better future career. But that time I was still doubting myself. I doubted my ability. Like, can I get accepted or not? Because that time I had no English proficiency test yet. But after several days, I finally made my mind. I say to myself to whether give it try or if I will lose the opportunity. And after another several days, I finally made decision. I gave it try. Well, it's quite long processes, and I tend to did it in last minute. It was really like a very fast process for me. And as what I have mentioned to you before, I didn't have that English proficiency test yet, so I needed. I had to take fast issued English proficiency test, and luckily there is dual no English test. Even though it's like a small scope, I mean, if you have Duval or IELTS, you will get wider opportunities. I mean, you, you can get wider university's choices. But still, luckily, that there are some other universities. I mean, a common would list like listed universities that accept dual lingual English tests. I took that English test three days before the application was closed. And while I wait the results, I tried to complete my other uh, requirements such as CV, transcript, and essays. And then, after wait and wait, after several days, I finally got the results. And thanks God my scores is enough. I mean, my scores passed the standard requirement. So that the next step I did that time was uh, ask a recommendation letter from my home university. Uh, whilst I was thinking about which university I'm willing to apply, and after all those documents completed, I finally applied it to Isma website some hours before it is officially closed. Definitely, it was not as smooth as how I'm telling you right now. Anyway, before the results they came, I always covered with mixed feeling of uncertainty. But the day that we had been waiting for, the time finally came, and it was such a very happy and best day in 2021 for me. Is my scholarship invested in me? And this is my journey. Touched down in Ankara, it felt so different. People speak a language that I didn't understand I was not familiar with. Food taste isn't as strong as Indonesian food and the environment where I was away from my family. But here is amazing too. Eat is still food too and they are family too. came to the first day attended class, I was so nervous. However, my lecturer is a very understanding and awesome person. And the most thing I really like is, she cares students' mental health so much. During my study, I need to be active to participate in class as much as I can. I usually have to examine my understanding of theories through midterm and implement it through project as final exam. I literally live a different life during my action year. I have second family, I find new friends whom I have the craziest adventures with, and I regularly leave my comfort zone which helped me to grow. If I could turn back time rewind, I would have to join more students club to enhance my networking and explore the cities more.
finally accomplished is my program. Now I see the world as a part of wider. The world is very diverse, and that's what makes it unique. I cannot tell you only one memorable experiences from being part of this. Because every second is memory. Indonesia is my country, and there is pretty amazing too. But I hope it can imitate at least one thing from my host university. That's caring student mental health is important too. And lastly, I'll try my best to give positive impact and share what I learned to people around me.